Well, good evening, YouTube world. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody's had them a good day today. It sure has been pretty out there. I, I, I swan to y'all, I think it's teasing us a little bit with fall. Every now and then, you know, I mean, mo it's still got some hot days going on, but I think it's teasing us. I think so. Anyway, I'm ready for it. Fall makes me happy. I like fall. I like all the seasons. Whatever good Lord's given us. I'm in here, y'all, fixing to work on this. Y'all gonna laugh at me. Lord have mercy. I swanny. I, I'm getting in here. I'm fixing to make a pea salad. I'm gonna make Buzz's pea salad. The way he likes pea salad, y'all. Okay? It's very simple. It's one of the simplest recipes I'll probably have on my videos. But it's just the way he likes it, and that's fine with me. I like pea salad pretty much any way you fix it. Um, pretty much. Anyway, anyway, let me get, you know reiterate that. Um, so what I have for my pea salad? Oh, I started off, y'all. Number one is this is just one of those little old bags of the steamer peas, and so I just. And what it is, is they make the perfect size little pea salad for me and Buzz, right? This is a great two-person pea salad thing. Uh, Y'all, when I was growing up, my mama used canned sweet peas for, for pea salad. I didn't even realize you could eat a pea salad with frozen peas. I don't know that I ever ate frozen peas. English peas, I'm talking about. Sweet peas, whatever you want to call them. Uh, mama made them with, with canned peas, and I loved them then, but y'all know when I found out, uh, what it tasted like making them with the frozen ones, I really do prefer it. Y'all, I hadn't ate none with, uh, uh, the canned sweet peas since before my mama died. I tell you what, I'd eat a can of, I'd eat them, I'd eat pea salad made that way right now if I still had her in my life, but... Y'all, anyway, that's precious stuff right there, though. Or them kind of memories. It's crazy that it's a, you know, something about sweet peas, you know? Makes you think of your mama. But, y'all, anyway, I'll quit reminiscing. Uh, I'm using the, I'm using this little bag tonight. I usually just have the regular frozen peas, and I'll take them, and I'll get me some boiling water, and I'll just drop them in there just for, I don't know, three minutes. Three minutes in that bowl of water. Get them out of there. Get them in the sink, and I'll drain them, and then I'll wash them off in cold water real quick to stop the process, the cooking process. And I'll just let them sit there and drain till I get ready to use them. But these little steamer peas, little bag worked out perfect for me and Buzz. So anyway, on with my story there. I uh, got my peas ready. Let me show y'all. I've got my sweet peas here, English peas, whatever you want to call them. I've got me some dill pickle. I've got me some onion over here, y'all, that I'm going to cut up, and uh, I've got me some pimentos, okay, and I have Miracle Whip. He wants Miracle Whip in this salad, so that's fine with me. Don't matter to me. You you know, I'm just showing y'all how we, how we make Buzz's uh, pea salad, and every time we make it, it gets eat up. The whole, every bit of it will get eat up, y'all, so it's a good one. It's just very uh, simplified. But anyway, we have the cheddar cheese. So, and the thing on that is, is that you don't use shredded cheddar. Do not use shredded cheddar. Not in this recipe, okay? What you want to do is take it and you want to cube it up. Little bitty cubes. So, see, I've got my slabs here. Well, I was going to be nifty this evening and get out my new chopper thingy, okay? And it's got the little blade that you put them on there and it pushes them through and it makes... I've got them all over the floor, too. It makes the perfect little sizes of cubes. Y'all, they're the perfect little size cubes. But, I was having trouble with it. I was wrestling it around, couldn't get do nothing. And y'all, it's, it's a new gadget with a new blade on it. So what's the very first thing I'm gonna do? What's the first thing I'm gonna do? Y'all know it already. There it is. <laughs> Just as sure as the sunshine, I cut my finger on that blade. I was like, oh my goodness, no, no. 
and I did. I cut my finger on that blade, so I'm going to finish cutting these cheese chunks up like I should have to start with instead of trying to be all fancy smancy and cut them up with my knife. So we're going to cut them up and we'll see how much more I have to have with that, but there's my cheese. Anyway, I had to bandage my thumb up so I could get on with the program. All right, first things I'm going to do. Now, on my peas, y'all, let me get down here now. On my peas, I drained them, y'all, after I did all what I told you, but I got them in a paper towel because I want them. I want them dry. I don't want them to have any kind of water on them because uh, they'll make you, make your liquid, your, you know, your man, your dressing stuff too runny, right? So, see, look, it's just going to, it's going to make the perfect little old pea salad for us, I'm telling you. What is that? Oh, it's a hole. Okay. I mean, I'll get me a little bit, and then Buzz can have the rest on his plate. So, and again, with uh, something like this, you don't measure. Ain't no measuring on this. How much onion you want in it, how much pickle you want in it, how much, you know, that kind of thing. That's another thing. My mama didn't put pickle in hers. I remember that. I was like, when, he, when I, Buzz first told me, you know, he wanted pickle in it. I was shocked. Now, this is his pickle spears, y'all, that he makes out of those big old, uh, uh, oh, man, what are those called? I can't believe, Armenian cucumbers. I think we got into this conversation on here with y'all before. That's right. And these, these things right here are so good, y'all. Listen out. They make the best pickle spears because they're so crunchy, okay? And I just, I'm going to just take them. Lord knows I don't need to uh, try to use no gadget. I'm going to use my knife, and we're going to get them cut up, y'all. And he don't like for me to do them uh, with this salad in particular. He don't like for me to do them in the little chopper hopper thing of Majiggy because it makes them too small. So, I'm just going to get them kind of, kind of like yay so. There we go. Let's see how much pickle that's going to put in there. I'm going to call it on that right now. All right, I got me a big old onion here cut in half because I'm going to use some more of this onion and something else later on. But I need to get me some onion in there. He wants onion in it. Now, see, I could do without the onion. I really could. And I wish, now, if I, I wish I had the red onion, y'all. Y'all know that if I had red onion, I would be putting that in here. But I don't have it. And I ain't worried about it. His big old yellow onions he grow, uh, take their sweet this year. They're delicious. So, we got onion. Ain't no need in buying one just cause, you know, it ain't red onion. So, we can't get the red ones to grow real good in this dirt. I don't know what's up with that. We tried growing them and they just don't. One year he did. One year they did good for him. But, I just told him don't even worry about it, you know. As long as we got onion, I got to have onion to cook with, right? And see, that, you know, that's that's that part of a half a big one. See what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't measuring it. Just how much you want in there on it. It's a salad. One of those salad dishes, you know. Put your stuff in there. Put your goodies in there. All right, I want me some of my pimentos. I'll just get me a spoon and put it under that lip. Break that seal and it'll open right up. Okay. Now, let's get us some... These are chopped. All right. They're already chopped. But, they're a little bit wet. I'm going to just take them and do that, right? All right. Get them in there. And I like them in there for the taste, but they're mainly in there for the color, y'all. The pimentos. But they do have a taste to them. 
Look at there, how pretty that's already looking, right? Now, let's see this cheese. <laughs> it makes the perfect cheese squares, and my girlfriend didn't have no problem with it, so, you know, it's a tally faith flub up or something, but I can cut these little squares just fine tonight. I'll get her come over and show me uh, how she does it with that machine. I think I may have just found a problem with these knives, y'all. Y'all see I'm trying to cut that? See that blade there? Look where that paint's coming off. I don't likey that. No likey that. I don't have to figure something out on that. And I love them. They're good knives. But if you have to sharpen them, that's what happens. Um, and I definitely have to sharpen my knives as much as I use them, right? Okay. We've got us some cheese now. Buzz don't want no salt, no pepper. None of that. He just wants his mayonnaise in there and his vegetables. So, I've got me a part of a jar, and, and he wants Miracle Whip. I think I done said that. He wants Miracle Whip. So, Miracle Whip it is. Not a problem with Tallyfay. Whatever he wants to eat on it, because I'm just, I just, Lord knows I'll just eat almost anything, y'all. Got to keep Buzz happy, right? See, I don't think that's going to be enough uh, mayonnaise in their butt, or Miracle Whip, whatever you want to call it. But let's stir it up first and see before I open that other jar. That's something I'm going to show y'all here in a second, too. <laughs> what kind of... I got stuff slung all over the floor, y'all. I'm going to tell you, this is good. It is good. It's so fresh and everything. Now, while I'm stirring it up, y'all, the other thing, and we had somebody tell us about it one time, to that Buzz was willing to try, and that's where you fry up some bacon and crumble it in there. Okay? And listen, I liked it. He liked, he liked it. He wouldn't, he, either way I could do on that. He's either way on that. But me, personally, the only reason I don't like the bacon in there is because it takes away this fresh thing you got going on in here, right? You know what I'm saying? It takes, because that bacon is, is a, a, a warm flavor, you know. I'm not talking about that it's warm temperature-wise. I'm talking about it's a warm flavor in there. And it, it the, the freshness, I want the freshness in this pea salad. I don't know that I want to add any more may out of that or not. I got me a little taster spoon here. Let me see. But y'all, I wanted to show y'all this. Okay, I'm out of my Miracle Whip right there. The other day we were shopping and whatever reason the Miracle Whip uh thing, the Miracle Whip aisle was empty. Section was empty. Well, look at here. You see this H-E-B one? It's just fine with me, y'all. When we were growing up, we didn't, we couldn't buy Miracle Whip or Hellman's or none of those name brand mayonnaises and salad dressing stuff. Well, we just couldn't, mom and daddy couldn't do that. And so we always ate the off brand, you know, it was salad dressing. Mama didn't buy a mayonnaise. But this H-E-B Whip here, it's good, y'all. It's good. I am very. I, it works just fine with me. It works just fine with me, and I ain't got no problem with it. And look what a pretty little pea salad that makes. Look, don't it? Right? Okay. Let me see. Let's see if it's got enough dressing in it. <laughs> I 
It's perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. That'll work just fine. Ain't no need me opening this new jar. Just like that, y'all. That. I told y'all this would be the simplest, probably the simplest uh, recipe out of all my hundreds of videos. But it's delicious just like that. And look what I'm saying about the amount. If it's just t the two of you at home, even if I was by myself, I'd make this thing and I'd eat it up in a couple days. No problem. But there it is. There's Buzz's. That is Buzz's pea salad right there, y'all. That's what he loves. I talked him into the pimentos later on in life. <laughs> but, hey, he likes those. That worked for him. And I think they make it look pretty. So, there it is, y'all. Pea salad. Simple. Easy peasy. Easy peas. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm going to have to practice with my chopper thing and majiggy or whatever. Do that and everything. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll get it. Otherwise, I'll just do it old style, just like I'm used to doing. So, I love y'all. Y'all get in there and make you a pea salad. I know everybody knows how to make one, you know, and everybody's got their recipes and stuff. I just want to show you how easy we did it here in, in, in the Jones house. So, I love y'all. Y'all have a great evening. And uh, take care of each other. Lift each other up. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.